appreciate that. But he just broke a, uh, a collar bone a few weeks prior, uh, I believe a month prior. And uh, he had also had a double hernia and probably shouldn't have been on the wire. Well, we know for a fact he shouldn't have been on the wire. So he did everything right, sat on the wire. He grabbed on like this. When he grabbed on, the pole came up and pushed him off the wire and he couldn't move on. He had the strength of the collar bone and the hernia to hold on. He lost his life. Um, since then, in 1998, we were invited to go back and recreate the seven horse pyramid on the high wire in Detroit, Michigan, on basically the same rigging, the same location where two of our family members lost their lives and one of them was paralyzed. So I was about, I was just turned 19 when we arrived there. Uh, it was in March of 98. And uh, we performed, and I remember doing that performance and looking out the building. At that point, I was very close to going to college to become a pediatrician. I remember looking down for miles and doing interviews, everybody from Larry King Live was broken into just to show this, show us recreating this pyramid for the first time again. And I remember just seeing, seeing that and saying, man, if this many people around the world are inspired and encouraged by what we do, then it's something that I need to carry on. And the rest is sort of history. In 2001, I brought our family to, to Japan to perform the eight-person pyramid for Guinness World Records, four layers high, eight-person pyramid. Um, and I headed on to uh, broke the world record in 2000, 2008, I believe it was, where I uh, rode a bicycle between two two cranes, 135 feet up, 230 feet, five feet across live on the Today Show, which was two world records for the highest and longest distance traveled by bicycle. Since then, I broke four or five more, four more world records and uh, I've been pursuing dreams like this. To be the first person in the world to walk across the Grand Canyon, I already have the permits for that. The first person in the world to walk across Niagara Falls and we'll be doing 